Affinity Photo Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the median blur. Now find it over here and it's a sort of noise reduction color effect blur. So I'm just going to go there and median blur It's just down here. So just go all the way down to the bottom median blur. So you've got this image and it basically just blurs noise reduction. It basically turns the picture in a sort of like a very painted effect. So you've got a sort of painted effect. There's no paint tool in the the paint effect in Affinity Photo. So really the only way to do it is use a couple of uh, filters. And of course you could use other plugins to actually create the uh, painted effect if you wish. Or go to Paint or some other application. Or use brushes beforehand. Okay, so more about the actual filter itself. Now if you actually use a low effect and you can just see it just there, use it around about there and it just basically just creates a nice sort of Remove some detail from the image, so basically you can't see all the various things there. So you can push it up, and you can push it all the way up to there, and you can see then, basically, it's completely, utterly smudges everything, to and completely removes all noise or anything. So hardly see the image. So, and you can push it all the way up to there. Well, I'm not going to go that. I'm just going to do that now. You can also apply it obviously more than once. So that's one thing about filters. You can actually just go to filters and blur and medium blur, apply it with a low value, and then apply it again. So you can just go to medium blur and apply it again. And you can create different effects with that. And not only that, you can also, of course, then you can combine other effects. So you can bring in, say, maybe other blurs, maybe sharp, whatever into the effects. So click OK. And you can all save that all as a macro. So you can go to the studio view menu studio and then you save a macro. Right. So you've got this. I'm just going to go back now. I don't want to uh, use that. What you can also do, you can use duplicate the layer. So you just go to layer and duplicate. And the way, reason for this is that you can then use blending modes. Now there is also a live filter. I'll go to that in a few seconds. And once you've actually got that, you can, you can actually just go obviously over here and do it there, or you can go to filters, blur, and medium blur, and apply the effect. And I'm just going to push it fairly extreme, and I can then go through here, darken, and you can see the effect, and you can sort of create a nice little pencil sketch look through that or overlay. It sort of gets rid of the effect, just brightens, get better saturation, and so on and so on. So you can go through the various difference properly. Well, anyway, that's a useful thing. But you can also, of course, use it in the live filter. And that's the useful thing about there is a live filter for this. So I'm just going to remove that. Don't want that. So I'm just going to go back and layer and new live filter layer. And now, where is it? There it is, right at the top. Instead of right at the bottom, it's at the top here. And now this is a layer. So you can actually see it's added to this background plate there, picture. So. You can move that and you can then of course blend modes so you can actually go through the blend modes and you can see the effect again much the same lighter and so on and so on very useful because of course then you can just remove it you can just turn it, i don't want that anymore and you can just go back to that now also a good thing about this you can apply that medium blur to say a layer so if you've got like five or six layers i haven't obviously i've just got background you can apply it to one particular layer you can also apply it on top of all of the layers so that's another useful thing with using layers instead of uh, using it just as a more destructive filter. Now, another thing you can do, and I'm just going to remove that now because I don't want that. But well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you quickly. You can also use adjustments, of course. You can just go to layer and new and just go for maybe levels or color balance, gradient map, and black and white. So you can modify that. And apply that on top of that so it's it's you can create sort of very interesting sort of pencil sketch like drawings as well now don't want that so i'm just going to go all the way back to that one now color channels is another one you can use just go over here to filters and i'm just going to go for the red channel first so filters blur and medium blur and apply that and then go to the green so you see, go back to that and filters and blur, medium blur, and I'm just going to create this place. Apply, makes a new apply, otherwise, you will lose the effect, it will just basically disappear. 
What was it? And then just going to go for an actual complete wipeout now. So I'm just going to go push it up to the top and apply. Now to go back, simply just go that and you can see then the result of that. A very sort of colourful, unusual effect with the medium blur. Anyway, that's a whole run through of many of the features. I'm certain there's even more things you can do with the medium. Obviously use it in selections as well. So you could actually just select an area and then select that and then go there to blur and medium and apply the effect that way. And so obviously the rest of it, maybe like using it for a frame. So, so cancel that, go select, invert pixel selection. So you've got a frame there, and then you can just go to blur and medium blur, and then apply. And then you've got a sort of frame where you can see the obviously the actual image as well as the blurred image around the edge. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.